The thing that's different about this new Everett program is that it sends former addicts themselves into camps like this, telling their stories so others can change theirs. Knock, knock, anybody home? Christine Halverson knows the homeless camps of Everett. She was living them as a hopeless 13 year old. I grew up in that life. Now she's trying to rescue people from these camps and their lives of desperation, desolation, and death. I am almost three years clean. She and her partner Joe, a former addict who's done prison time, are on the road to bring others to recovery. They're members of the city sanctioned emergency mobile operations team of Everett, or EMOTE, and they're practicing street medicine. All right, so how did the assessment go? The assessment went great. Their patients are people like Jacob, who struggled with addiction for two decades. Emote brings direct care to people who would otherwise get it from an ER visit, and not just referrals for counseling or treatment, minor medical procedures, access to doctors and prescriptions. Jacob got a prescription to help get through withdrawals. That convinced him to commit. You feel like they're saving your life? Yeah, they are. They are saving my life. He's eight days clean and headed to a 90-day treatment facility. So where do you go from here? Um, only up, <laughs> only up from here. Providence ER doctor Thomas Roby directs the program, but he says the outreach workers, former addicts, sex workers, even felons, are the ones who do the important work by relating to their clientele. If you've been through what your client has been through, you have immediate rapport. There is room for trust that I could never have with my clients. I am still one of them. I've just found a way out of it. People like Christine, whose days in the camps are no longer hopeless. If any addict like myself can get clean and stay clean and find hope and freedom, absolutely any addict can. Dr. Roby hopes to expand this program from here in Everett to all of Snohomish County and perhaps throughout the state. In Everett, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.